Hi guys, these receivers arrived in the post today. These are Flysky FS GR3E, three channel 2.4 gig receivers. Now I've had a quick look on YouTube and there's plenty of good videos on how to bind them and set them up, but I thought I'd try myself anyway. I will put links in the video description so you can find those more professional videos. Uh, this is just the strengthener for the aerial. So I'll take that off again because it'll probably fall off while I'm playing around with these. I should be able to just bind it without connecting connecting everything up but I need power on here so I might as well connect things up so I've got the ESC supplying the power so onto there I've actually got an on off switch there so I'll leave it off for the moment stick that into channel 3 which is also the one for binding. So that's a bit of a problem. I have to stick it in a different channel. I could just stick it in, you know, I'll put it in the battery and earth for now. So if I turn this on, well, we won't know if anything's working unless I plug a few more bits in, will we? Let's have the rudder plugged in. Right, so we've got nothing working at the moment. Switch that on. Still nothing working because we haven't bound it yet. It says plug this in. Let's switch it off again. To the bind position. Okay, turn that off finger on the bind button here, turn that on, power on here, nothing happening at the moment, turn it off, on again, oh, unplug the bind I suppose, off, on, There we are, so we're bound. So I should now be able to put that where I want it, in the throttle position. Just tip it up a bit in case it starts up straight away. And we're okay. This one's got a brake on it, and I can never get it quite right to get the brake working, or at least to get it off the brake position. That's better. So there we are. We've got a working receiver. I didn't do that very clearly so like I said in the video description I'll put links into other people doing it but it works for me one final point I'm trying to do this hands-free so the camera's shaking a little bit sorry about that but I haven't covered the fail safe facility on the binding plug here there's this little peg that you push into a socket just up here and that enables the failsafe. And the reason I've not covered it is I haven't been able to recreate the problem that the failsafe cures. 
it's something to do with the fact that sometimes if you lose the signal from the transmitter the motor can go into full full throttle and that failsafe prevents that from happening it recognizes you losing the signal and it puts the motor into neutral but I've tried it with my boats and cars and that and I can't recreate that problem so I can't demonstrate it being fixed but if you have a look at the video description there's a link to somebody doing a proper review of one of these receivers and he actually demonstrates the problem so sorry I can't show it because I can't recreate it